In my adult life, I've had two main passions. Lifting weights and making painful videos. Sometimes at the same time. Ah! Ah! All right, I'm going to bed. That's all I can do. But what happens when I am forced to take a break? Literally. <sighs> you know what, Jake? I don't care if my arm's broken. Hit me. Uh, your doctor told me not to. Uh... I don't care what he said. <laughs> okay. Uh. Yeah. You know what? It's just not the same. You want to talk about it? Yeah. Okay. Broken arm review. What was that? Just something I've always wanted to try. Okay. PewDiePie does it. Ah. But I, I don't think I should be clapping. That actually legitimately hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even kidding. It actually uh -oh. hurts. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everyone? Houston, Bionic Bones Jones here with Jake, the cameraman, editor, on-screen talent, the jack of all trades. And as I'm sure some of you have noticed, I haven't posted in two weeks. And that's resulted in us getting a lot of comments and questions of how my arm is recovering after I broke it. So... I figured this would be a good time to give you guys that update. However, this will be our last video solely dedicated to this topic because I don't want people accusing me of milking the situation. I just want a little bit more milk. Just a tiny little bit more milk, okay? But I'm not gonna make any more videos discussing this because the worst of it is behind me and uh, I think it's only uphill from here. Yeah, you're looking a lot better already. Thank you, mm -hmm. thank you. But. What we'll be covering in this video is three main points. One, how is my arm looking now since you saw it last? Two, uh, how this injury has affected me in ways I didn't expect or was prepared for. And then three, how does my physique look after six weeks of not lifting? Six weeks now. Six weeks, it's been, it's been a minute, I've been a hot minute. Also, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, about how I broke my arm, we made a whole video going over that topic, so go check it out. It'll give some more context to what's going on in this video. Does that pop up like here, or right here? Pops up here? It pops up. Right there? <laughs> okay. it, it pops up. Oh, okay. <laughs> also, we got a special announcement at the end, so keep watching. Keep watching. Do it. You know you want to. All right, up first, let's show you how my arm's looking. Let's do it. Okay. So it's been two weeks now about since I've got the stitches removed. And as you can see, my arm's looking as good as new. Check out that thing, huh? That is a great improvement over the last video we made talking about the arm. Look at that. The swelling is down a ton. Look at this. I can move my wrist, all right? A lot of the mobility is coming back. It's almost as good as new. Still not 100%, I'll be honest, but uh, Recovery is going pretty all right. Couldn't even tell. Right? It's just like a, a maybe a tattoo. It's an, just another injury. Just, just another scar. <laughs> just another scar. What's another scar when you got literally hundreds, right? <laughs> Add it to the list. It's a collection. <laughs> Sign that, baby. The question is, is it the best scar out of the batch? You know what? I'm gonna say, this is my favorite scar. Hmm. It's a scar that tells a story. Unlike. No, this one actually does tell a story, yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a good icebreaker. <laughs> so you see what my arm looks like now real quickly. Let's throw up a couple pictures how it looked back then. All right. As you can see, I'm sure right now on screen, it looked terrible. Jake, you haven't seen me for a couple weeks since we've been off filming. Uh, how do you think this recovery is? Is it faster, slower? Because I'm actually curious. Uh, you're healing faster than I am. <laughs> <laughs> from when you hurt your arm my arm still hurts <laughs> <laughs> and for context jake uh fell 10 feet onto his elbow i did but bruised, didn't break it but i bruised my bones bruised his bones and it still hurts <laughs> <laughs> well maybe there's something to it maybe i do heal quick i don't know uh 
Yeah, you got superhero powers and stuff, and honestly, it's not fair. Oh, this is like, why is this taking so long? Oh, uh, yeah. Man literally broke himself, and he's healing faster <laughs> than I am. But to be fair, I got two metal plates in here, so I'm cheating. I got I got some life hacks. Does that help? <laughs> well, uh, I can tell you one thing. Uh, it's probably better than not having the metal plates in. Damn, I f***ed <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, be perfectly honest, uh, I don't know how fast someone should recover from this, but I'm about halfway through the recovery process. And, you know, the pain is pretty much non-existent outside of when I do actions I shouldn't. Like, you know, I try to stop my dog from jumping on someone. And I'm like, ah, my arm. Uh, you know, I pick up something I shouldn't. I'll be like, oh, I probably shouldn't pick that up. It kind of hurts a little bit. Or masturbate. <laughs> well, I'm right-handed. <laughs> <laughs> Cut. <laughs> but yeah, uh, my recovery has been going pretty damn well. Uh, it gives me the confidence that I will make a full recovery and can jump right back into the gym uh, for my upper body and be fine there. Uh, I was obviously a little worried when initially broken about how the recovery would go, but uh, like every week it's feeling better. I can move my wrist more and more. Pain is less and less. And I think that's all good things. So that's something I'm happy about. However, the next topic I want to cover is how this injury affected me in ways I didn't expect or was prepared for. Cause I'll be honest, when we filmed that last video, Jake, explaining what happened, I was still on painkillers. Mm. Uh, I, would, I had 10 days of prescribed painkillers from when I broke the arm to surgery to when I kind of the, at the days after the surgery. And when we filmed that, I was still on painkillers. And I'll be honest, at the time, I, I was a little bit out of it, uh, but I think I was like optimistic in a way. Cause you know, I get hurt all the time for a living. Uh, so why would this injury be any different? Uh, but let me tell you, it was a lot different for quite a few reasons. But before I kind of want to get into this, I want to say one thing. I don't want this to come off as complaining. I am a very lucky and fortunate individual. I'm sure someone out there has broken all four of their limbs and still works 80 hours a week while taking care of a family of baby seals. <laughs> but thanks to you guys, you guys have given me uh, the confidence to talk about more personal things. And something I realized in the last video is that a lot of you have snapped bones. And I have found it's very cathartic when I hear someone on YouTube talk about an issue that I deal with. So hopefully I can give that experience to you guys. Hopefully you guys can relate in some way to some of the struggles I've had from this injury. And if you've never broken a bone, hopefully you can learn some things to look out for or be aware of. Because it is a serious injury and uh, it is something that will kind of change your life for a brief period. So being perfectly honest, after we filmed the video explaining what happened, I shortly after came off painkillers, I didn't get my prescription refilled, didn't want anything to do with them anymore. The biggest side effect I've had from coming off of them was it just wrecked my sleep schedule. Cause I'll be honest, when I was on them, I was sleeping a lot. Like every few hours I was passing out, waking up, passing out, waking up, and that would go throughout the day. So there really wasn't any like set sleep schedule. It was just like sleep, awake, sleep, awake, mm -hmm. and like blocks for me. So when I came off them, uh, suddenly, you know, it's like at nighttime, I couldn't fall asleep anymore. So there, I had like day stretches where it's like, I'm falling asleep at 5 a.m., 7 a.m., 6 a.m. And then I'm waking up at two, three. And for me, uh, that just makes me feel super lazy and unmotivated. I'll say this, every YouTuber I've talked to struggles with their sleep schedule because there's a, uh, you gotta be very self-motivated, you're self-employed, you gotta wake up uh, on your own accord and get stuff done. But when my arm was snapped and there really wasn't much to do, uh, it was very hard to wake up. Uh, and plus, you know, just coming off those painkillers made it even more of a struggle. And that just kind of put me in a, in a bad funk, I feel like. Yeah, you'd be surprised how crazy things become when you don't get normal sleep or right? don't eat properly mm -hmm. or just the the little things the fundamentals fundamentals the proper healthy living. Uh -huh. and then after that uh, i would say the next uh, big struggle i had was uh the working out i couldn't and haven't been able to work out how i wanted to i will say uh full disclosure about a week after the surgery i got my butt back in the gym 
and started at least uh, doing legs, machine work. Can't Obviously can't be doing squats because I got to load plates, but been doing machine stuff. And I think that's helped to some extent, but I'll be honest, I hate doing legs. I think everyone does. What? <laughs> legs are the best. Hey, I've, I've been doing legs twice a week for like seven years, but I still hate legs, okay? <laughs> but on the off days, you know, I couldn't uh, do the stuff I liked, you know, upper body, push, pull. Uh, couldn't do any of that because uh, my arms are covering. And I have always been a big proponent of going to the gym more so for your y'all good old noggin, making yourself feel good in your head opposed to just looking good. Don't get me wrong, looking good is cool, but you know what's more cool? Feeling good, okay? And that's uh, the biggest thing the gym has done for me over the years. I, it's uh, almost like an awesome like little therapy for myself, okay? Uh, in a lot of ways. I don't think I was ready after 10 years to just not be able to work out how I've always been. And that kind of threw me into a weird loop in, in, its, in its own right. You know, it's honestly surprising in all your years of lifting and filming, you haven't put yourself in a situation where you couldn't lift like this before. <laughs> it's true. That's kind of what I'm, I'm trying to say, though, is like uh, even with like all the stunts we do and I have done over the years, I've always made it a point to go into the gym because that makes me feel good. Even if I do nothing in that day, I'm at least I went to the gym. I've always been my mindset, you know? Yeah, it's a small victory. Uh -huh, yeah. And you know, I a big reason I get up in a lot of days is to go to the gym. Honestly, the way you handled it though is probably the best thing you could do is just bringing awareness to the situation and mm -hmm. how it's affecting you. So True, yeah. Two more things I wanna quickly mention. An obvious one, uh, when you snap your arm, you can't use it, okay? <laughs> Yeah. Bringing groceries, walking my dog, doing anything with my dog. Uh, I have I had one arm, but that was useless. And that is a weird thing to get used to. Not much to say about that other than it sucks not having a usable arm. Have you gotten better with your yes. other arm? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> I'll yeah. uh, okay. I have gotten more confident using this arm again for some small things, uh, but I still have to baby it. Uh, can't do a ton with it. Uh, doctor's orders, you know, I'm trying to be good on about that stuff so I can make a full recovery. Mm -hmm. And then the last thing I want to talk about is uh, creatively. I kind of got uh, in a rut and kind of lost focus on what I wanted to create. Uh, that's because when I broke, right before I broke my arm, I had a ton of ideas. I was super excited to do stuff. We got this new equipment. And I'll be honest, this is something I dawned on me when the, after the arm was broken. Uh, I have a lot of fun doing those stupid stunts. When I'm not allowed to do them, I was like, man, that sucks. Uh, darn, I don't get to hurt yeah, myself. Yeah, darn, I don't get to hurt myself. <laughs> I think it's funny, like people will be like, you know, Houston, you can do whatever you want, make whatever you want. And honestly, I appreciate that sentiment a ton, but that truly, I have a lot of fun doing what I do do. Uh, and it kind of bummed me out that I couldn't do it. So it took me a little bit more time than I'd like to admit to refocus into some ideas that I can make with my arm broken. Luckily, I kind of had the time, thanks to you guys, you guys have been so supportive, and uh, this is one of the few times in my YouTube career where I felt comfortable taking some weeks off because you guys left so many comments on the video of me explaining what happened, and uh, you guys are like, you know what, Houston, if you need some time off, don't feel rushed to come back, blah, blah, blah. And it actually, you know, helped me a lot. So uh, I took I took that advice, you know, I like kind of figured some stuff out. Uh, it dawned on me why I was feeling like crap and I made some small changes that have seemed to be helping, you know, kind of got my sleep back in check. I'm falling asleep around one to 12. That's an improvement. <laughs> Again, small victories. Small victories. Uh, I'm going to the gym every day now, even if it's just to do cardio. Been doing that for a little over half a week or so. Uh, and that's been awesome, even though cardio is boring, but it's something. You gotta do something, all right? Uh, and, uh, you know, all those things together, I think of slowly getting me back into my normal routine, which feels good. All right, the last thing I wanna talk about in this update video is how my physique looks a physique update. And I wanna specifically compare it to the Q&A video I did a few months ago because I think that is one of my better looking physiques over the years. 
So I think it'll be an interesting comparison in case study what happens when an experienced advanced lifter snaps his arm and can't work out. Let's see how fat you got. Let's see how fat and or skinny and or nothing I got. All right. Who knows? You guys don't know yet. <laughs> All right. You can thank Artie for me not getting as fat as you might think I would because I've been taking this guy on so many walks. But before I show you how I look, let's give a few pictures uh, from the Q&A video a few months ago at one of my better physiques of my life. Uh, as you can see, decent muscle, decently lean. However, I weigh the same weight there as I do now. Uh, full disclosure though, I've still been lifting my legs. So those really haven't changed. Let's go through some poses. We'll start with most muscular. Uh, I feel like my traps have gotten smaller and definitely my chest. Oh, Artie, now's not the time. All right, double bicep. Mm -hmm. uh, it's hard to flex my left arm. Front double bicep. Side chest. Tricep. Lat spread. Nice. Back double bicep. That still looks good. Other side, left arm. Bark. Don't tell him to bark. He doesn't like that pose. Yeah, he can tell my left arm's gotten smaller, so he's like. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad. Uh, okay, onto my legs, which already is biting. As you can see, I think they pretty much maintain size. Calves. Ugh, I got calves, okay? Don't ever say my calves are small. Artie! <laughs> Get out of the way! Yes! Uh, well, that's all you get for the Zeke update. Artie, Artie's ruined it. <laughs> yeah, so I don't think it's as bad as I thought it was gonna be. But also, my appetite has gone way down, generally. Every once in a while, I'll pick out a full bag of chips in one sitting, but <laughs> that's not all the time. But generally, I think my, my appetite and general caloric intake has gone down. So that's kind of resulted in my body weight staying pretty similar to what it was. Overall, this kind of makes me feel good, though. It's because it's like, uh, I definitely wasn't sure what would happen when I wasn't able to lift my upper body. I kind of thought maybe it would just kind of disappear shrivel. instantly, shrivel up and go away. But uh, it's kind of nice to know that that doesn't really happen. But overall, you know, I've kept my protein intake way up. So I'm trying to get about a gram per pound of body weight per day. And I think that's helped with my recovery and just holding on to my muscle. Uh, obviously doing cardio and all that is has been good because at least I'm still moving and doing something. But yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised. Guess I can't call you Houston Small Fry Jones. Nope, I can't can't allow it because I hey, I still weigh the same. I still weigh the same. <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> These genetics, baby, <laughs> they don't quit. They've never quit on me. Not not yet. I guess other than when I broke my my bones. Yeah, yeah. then they took a break. Yeah, they took a. <laughs> well, that's everything I wanted to cover for this broken arm review. We're on the upside, okay? But onto the special announcement. Jake is starting his very own YouTube channel. So it'd be awesome if you can go check it out and see what he's all about and subscribe if you enjoy it. Because yeah. I'll appreciate it, Jake will appreciate it, and we'll all have a good time. Yeah, I just have a lot of big ideas and a lot of things I want to share with you guys and I've learned from the best. So oh, you're too kind. <laughs> yeah. You're too kind. If you are interested, I hope you guys join me on this journey. So we got a lot of big things in the future. Lastly, thank you all. The sport is unreal. Uh, honestly wouldn't be doing this as long as I have without all you awesome guys watching and leaving awesome nice comments. It's truly a dream come true and I really appreciate you all. But we're gonna be back to our shenanigans. The boys are back. The boys are back. <laughs> Am I going to eat cow testicles next week? Uh, yeah, I ordered them. What? They didn't tell me that. <laughs> Houston, that's, what? No, we got to talk about this.